Tonight, St. Louis police are searching for the driver who hit a man crossing the street in front of Crown Candy. That incident has the owner of that North St. Louis business pushing for safer streets. Five Intersides Laura Barczewski talked with the people fighting for change. Laura. Mike Nan, the owner of Crown Candy, says the disregard for stop signs in front of his store has only gotten worse over the last few years, and now he's even more concerned for people's safety. St. Louis police say around 5 o'clock Tuesday, a 71-year-old man was crossing the street at 14th and St. Louis when a dark-colored car sped through the crosswalk, and it was all caught on Crown Candy Kitchen's cameras. He was coming across the street, and uh, a lady in a car apparently just decided she wasn't going to stop, and I don't know if the sun was in her eyes, I don't know if she wasn't paying attention, but she just pretty much hit him and knocked him down and then she backed up and she drove by and said I'm sorry and kept right on going. Crown Candy Kitchen owner Andy Karensev says he watches people blow through the four-way stop daily. All the time. I mean somebody just blew through the stop sign right now as I'm talking to you. Um, it's a daily occurrence and I don't know what to say. How do we fix this? You know, the police can't be here 24 7. And this problem is not unique to his neighborhood. It's happening all over the city of St. Louis. Ward 14 Alderman Rasheen Aldridge says a bill has been approved, but not yet signed by the mayor to put speed humps near this four way stop. I've got word from the city streets department that these speed humps in that area will be installed in the spring, um, but uh, hopefully with those uh, speed humps that we can get to some type of solution to try to slow people down in that area and uh, various parts of the 14th Ward as well. While he's hopeful these traffic calming measures will help, Karancev wants drivers to do the right thing so this doesn't happen to anyone else. He's lucky to be alive. I mean, you know, thankfully, you know, it wasn't as bad as it looked, but it's He's still went to the hospital. He's still going to have to go see a doctor about his knee. If you have any information about what happened or recognize that car, you're asked to call St. Louis Police or Crime Stoppers to remain anonymous. 1-866-371-TIPS.